Greetings, punks, goths, metalheads, herberts, herbettas, Martians and subterranean folk. How you all doing? My name's John and this is the Health Anarchist channel. Well, today's a bit of a replacement video, really, because some of you may know that my computer totally broke down and died last week, so I wasn't able to put out a video as I usually do this weekend, just gone. So this one should go up in the week as a bit of a stopgap until I'm able to put a full video out as usual. So the computer that I had, it was an ex-office computer, which I usually get second-hand computers, uh, kind of like the idea of recycling them, and it gives them a new lease of life. I don't think I've ever had a brand new computer, but when you buy ex-office computers, you know, they don't last forever and you have to replace them. But I'd rather give them a new life and use them you know while they last so for today's video i've got a really good supernatural story if you're into spooky stuff then you'll like today's video it's a bit of history with it as well so we'll just get into that now so the story starts in staley bridge an old historical building it's a victorian building and a friend of mine is a workman and they were doing some work on this building and the work was in the cellar or the basement below the building and they were checking what was behind one of the cellar walls to do further work there now they had a generator on at the time which they had lights rigged up to it and the lights kept going down when they were removing bricks from the wall which they thought was very weird with the lights kept going out and so they kept going back up to the top where the generator was, switching it back on. And in one of these uh, trips, when they came back down again, a load of earth come through the wall where they were removing bricks. And in that earth, human remains come out, as in bones and a skull. Now, obviously, immediately they had to ring up the police, which they did. The police sent forensics teams down and uh, they had the bones looked at and they said they're actually historical bones from the 17th century and they worked out that the skull was from a female who was about 13 years old they reckon so that's the first part of the story actually just before i go on with this story uh, the building where they were doing the work it's actually on what would have been the border of an old churchyard uh, there's a building across the road, stands now where an old church used to stand. Anyway, so the next part of the story is I have one of these spirit box apps on my phone and I have used it with what I think is success in the past. So I was walking past this building at night time, I'd just been doing a bit of shopping and I thought I'll try out the spirit box because it's quite interesting what happened to my workman friend there. So it was dark and I wasn't really scared because I didn't think I'd get any results. So I was outside there and I introduced myself. I said, uh, my name is John and I just want to ask some questions if that's okay. So after making the introduction, I said, are there any lost souls here? And immediately I got a voice replying on the spirit box saying, there is one. And a few moments later, again, I've got a repeat of that, different voice saying there is one, which is very unusual to get repeats of the same thing, for me anyway, when using a spirit box. And then I got, it's a girl. Then again, it's a girl, which was another repeat, which was very unusual. I wasn't really scared at this time. There was nothing sinister about it. It was a little bit, spooky but I was more fascinated I think and then uh, I got Jewish which I thought was very unusual Jewish but I don't know uh, maybe it is related to this story and then a moment later I got the word Elizabeth which I think you know could be the name we're looking at here so if we connect the two stories together possibly got something quite interesting going on now I deliberately haven't named my friend because I don't want to involve him in my YouTube videos unless you know he wanted to be 
and uh, I've not named the building because I don't want the wrong sort of people going there doing the wrong sort of things upsetting any lost souls or anything like that I mean when I left I was respectful I said thanks for the answers and may you rest in peace so yeah that's uh, my little story that I wanted to share with you and you know and I am interested in these things I do like supernatural stuff and uh, I like my history as well so you know if you link the stories together there might be something there so as I was saying it's just a short catch-up video today and I should have my usual video up this coming weekend so until then don't forget be different stay weird and stay free take care now bye